How do you feel about rappers using auto-tune instead of actually soliciting features from actual R&B artists? I mean, how I feel about it, like my personal opinion, because I, before I was like seriously singing, I was rapping first. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I was one of the ones that, you know what I'm saying? Before I really just developed my R&B voice and kind of just tapped into it, I used to use a lot of auto-tune when I rapped and shit, when I try to melodically get through songs. So, I mean, I don't really see anything like wrong with it. But to your defense, though, you still uh, are a singer. You are an R&B yeah, person. Yeah, I am an R&B but singer. He, you got a little, little fufu over here. He don't have no, not an R&B bone in his body. Yeah. But he just decided, well, auto tune. I can now just sing my own hooks instead of really getting somebody who got the pipes. Right, right, right. I mean, it's just as far as that. I don't really just feel a way about it because it's just like that's just, it's just how that shit is. Just how shit is now. I got you. It's, how, it's what it is. Can you be successful R and B without having to rap yourself? Because I know you do a blend of both, and that's like kind of new lane. I mean, of course, George, Drake uh, been doing it. Tory Lane does it. You're doing it, um, can but can someone be strictly R and B without having can somebody to? be strictly? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. We had uh, Usher, Raymond, Trey Songz. Yeah. Um, could this I count? Could I count Chris Brown? Cause he was kind of rapping. He started. Yeah, Chris Brown, like the early Chris Brown, before like the Look at Me Now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before he started, like you know what I'm saying on some rap shit. But I mean, yeah. Okay. 